Welcome back to another product review. And today I'm gonna to take a look at the art of book from Disney's Raya and the Last Dragon. Now this movie came out a couple of years ago, so general spoiler warning. So I will go through things, but be warned, there's stuff in there, obviously. Now that is the book, the back, the spine, and let's take this cover off. And that leaves you this uh, relief there, embossed, however you call it. The spine, and there you go. Ooh, all right. Always a fan of that. Let's check this out. The art of. Starts off with the big concept piece already. You can see forward introduction, prologue, and so on. You can pause this. This is the content. And as always with art of books, usually you have a forward and an intro. That's already cool. Wow. Love that. I was a big fan of like ginormous structures with little villages or towns or tech things, whatever you have, whatever genre it is. It just gives you a nice sense of scale. It's Q2. Part one, a warrior in a dragon. And of course, you know, I love this already. Anything like that. Big fan, different variations, sketches, always a fan. Not always a full page. Ooh, ooh, I like that too. I would love like two or three pages of just that. Just facial expressions and tests and stuff like this. Costume variations, that's also cool. Weapons, ooh, and action poses. See, that's the stuff. That over a couple pages. To, ooh, look at that. I'm given a couple pages. Nice, that's cool. That's cool, cool pose. That is cool. See, that, I love it. I already can see like something going through or trying to get back as the character goes on it from leg to leg, chopping things off. That's a really cool body mechanic shot. Sorry, Disney, I'm gonna steal this <laughs> one of these days. Love this. Running away, fleeing, whatever, with the head upside down. It could be dragging, could be a fun little animation with the head dragging on the floor. Already, love it. Got the young version. Facial expressions and turnarounds, costumes. Got some storyboards. Got the creature tuck tuck. Super cute. Whoever loved to animate this. Ooh, nice. Love it. Love. I always love this in 2D. The wrinkle of the noses. There's always something about wrinkly noses in 2D. I don't know. Hard to replicate. I don't know, man. It's probably not hard to replicate, but it's always a certain feeling when things wrinkle in 2D. That's cool. Ooh, yes. Rougher ones. I love this. Love that. That's great. Loving this already. I just unwrapped this book, by the way. So I have no idea what's in this. Hence my kind of vague spoiler warning. Love this too with the foreground. That's a cool establishing shot. I love this, how this is framed. This is probably my slowest flip through, but I love this. It's giving me just like this is something I would I would scan the which i will scan and then imagine you can show off a walk cycle maybe some audio piece the contrast between one person walking that kind of hesitantly walking turning around for different kind of mechanics and then having this in the foreground this could be jungle this could be robot pieces like whatever you have right but i like this as a setup a lot okay got dragon variations the dragon gem dragon lands Ooh, nice nice one thing, of course, I'm guilty of is not always reading all of it. I definitely look at all the drawings, take in all the poses, the sketches, the facial stuff, the stuff that kind of relates more to me, although I love seeing that stuff. But it's tricky to find the time to really read all of this. It's kind of like a cursory glance and or if it's a specific page, I'll read through this. That's cool, though. Ooh, I love this. I was just going to say, I wish there were more poses or facial expressions for the characters. And then it gives me this. That's cool. Yeah, they're gonna go back to stuff like that. That's neat. Cool effect in the movie too. Got tail hair. Ooh, I love stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah, I remember seeing this one. Every now and then you see online some facial expressions or poses or just some art, 2D art, that is sadly not in the art book. I remember Frozen had a bunch of that stuff. It's a bummer. That's a cool set piece too, for that one. Cool. Characters. 
Nice. Yes, exactly that. Love that. This could be a shot too. Again, just for imagine you're lip sync instead of standing or sitting. Usually it's standing with hand gestures. You deliver the whole line like this. The character is like this. Obviously, the hand on the jaw should not impact kind of how it sounds. Otherwise, there's a, I mean, there's a disconnect between if the sound is clean, but it looks like the hand is on the jaw that would kind of impact the way it sounds. Watch out for that. But I love this that a character could deliver a line while little characters, so you can show off different type of things here, are doing something with the hair, the outfit. Might steal that at one point. Ooh, when I was asking for expressions. Well, then here we go. Cute. That was cool. Yes, I remember that. Nice colors. That's cool. It's almost Ewoks. A little Star Wars crossover. These are cool. Nice. Cool art. Ooh, that guy was great. Ooh, and... Oh, no! See, that guy. I wanted, like, a full page. Full page of expressions. That's a bummer. That is a bit short. These are cool. Lots of buildings, definitely, in this art book. And also lots of different characters. I mean, you can't cram it all in, and that's cool, though. All the lightsaber. And give me Star Wars vibes again. But... Anytime you have something with swords, my Star Wars brainwashed brain adds in lightsabers. That was a cool fight at the end. I like that, I like that pose with the head forward. Cool. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I wish there was more stuff like that. I love stuff like that. Get some more storyboards, more art. Ooh, cinematography. I don't definitely want to read that. I always like reading about that stuff. Oh, we got a multi-page fold out. Where is this? Color script. These are nice. Love it. I'm going to admit, I know nothing about colors. It's always something that I save and I send myself emails about just color theory and stuff like that. I just don't know enough. That's cool. These are nice. All right. Concept and credits. The swimming sequence when she's swimming is so good. The renders of the water, but also the animation is so great. Acknowledgements, and then that, and there we go. There we go, the end. Pretty neat. I always makes me want to watch those movies again. I look at this, the uh, the art of books. And like I said, it's, it's on the better side. Sometimes it's a bit minimal on the facial expressions, but it's also, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for different poses and like character poses with cloth expressions or action poses, depending on what the character is and what they have to do. Um, some books have more of those, some have less. This seems a bit more in the middle. That's pretty cool. But as that, that's for the flip through. And uh, that's it. As always, thanks for watching to the very end. And if you like that type of stuff, I do more, I do lectures, I do a bunch of stuff on the channel. Feel free to browse around and subscribe if you want. Like and subscribe, the usual algorithm speech and pitch at the end. But thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.